learning objectives include what is immunity and what are various types of immunity. Immunity is basically the ability of the body to protect itself from harmful effects of diseases or infections and its lack is called susceptibility. There are two types of immunity or immune responses. One is called innate immunity and the other one is adaptive immunity or immune response. Innate means they're naturally present and they're present at birth. Adaptive means that they are acquired by exposure or by experience with those organisms. Let's just talk a little bit more about innate immunity. Innate immunity, as I mentioned, is present at birth. It is rapid to respond because it is already there whenever the organism tries to enter the body it becomes active. The innate immunity becomes active. So it is the first response of the body against the organisms. It is non-specific. This means that if the body is invaded by E. coli, for example, or by Staphylococcus, or by Bacillus anthracis, or by a virus, this response is the same. That means that the cells that would try to engulf these all four, five different examples that I gave, they are the same cells. Same macrophage, macrophage or neutrophil can attack all these three or four different organisms at a time also if they are trying to invade the body at the same, although this does not happen. But non-specificity means that they are not specific to only one kind of organism. They can attack all kinds of organisms. That means they are non-specific. We will see the specificity when we will talk about the adaptive immune response. There we would have specificity present. Another feature of the innate immunity is that this immune response does not increase in response with the repeated exposure to the same infectious organisms. So if an organism invades the body for the first time and also after some time, like a month or two, it re-infect the same individual, innate immune responses would remain the same in their response. So in other words, that there would be no increase or no memory from the previous insult by the same organisms. So the body, body's innate immune component or immune responses would remain the same in their degree of res response. And I, as I mentioned, have no memory because they have no memory. Each time they encounter the same antigen over and over, uh, they, their response remains the same. Innate immune response or immunity could be divided broadly into first line of defense and second line of defense. First line of defense are physical barriers and second line of defense is the phagocytic cells and their secretions. Physical barriers include like skin, like mucous membrane and there are also some chemical barriers we will see like pH of the stomach is a very good example. So this is the first line of defense and second line of defense includes those phagocytic cells like macrophages, neutrophils, natural killer cells. The third line of defense basically is the adaptive immune response. So there are three defenses, defense lines, first, second and third. Third is adaptive immune response acquired which is basically um, very specific. Adaptive immunity or immune response includes specificity. It has a specificity. It means that antibodies that are generated against Staphylococcus will not bind E. coli. So 
This is very specific. Immune, adaptive immune response is very specific. It also have, it also has memory, because, as I mentioned earlier, that innate immune response does not have memory. Adaptive immune response does have memory, and that is because, because of this memory, second exposure would cause increase, much increase in the immune response of the body. So those antibodies would be made in a large amount and very quickly and rapidly with the second exposure because of the memory. And also, this is the property of the adaptive immune response that it increases with the repeated exposure. Each time there is an infection, the adaptive immune response would enhance its capacity. But it is slower to respond because making those ant specific antibodies would take time, and that is the reason it takes days to respond. Innate immunity, because it is always there, it responds very rapidly. There are two sub-branches of adaptive immune response. One is called humoral immune response, where we see that the antibodies are made. Antibodies are made by B lymphocytes. So this B lymphocytes make humoral immune response. And we also see that there are cells in the adaptive immune response that are responsible for killing of the organisms, killing of the cells that harbor the organisms. And that is called cellular immunity or cellular immune response. So adaptive immune response basically have two branches, a moral immune response and a cellular immune response. So in summary, there are two types of immunity. Innate immunity, naturally present, and adaptive immunity, which we acquire after the exposure to the organism. Thank you.